Okay, a week away from Melbourne Cup week. I thought it might be worthwhile to start taking a look at some of the size titles around Australia initially. We've also got um, Breeders' Cup coming up this weekend on Friday and Saturday in the USA at Delmar. Um, so I may, as well, I, I may take a look at a couple of USA charts as well. Um, but I may do that in another video in a day or so once I've done a few more of the Breeders' Cup races. So uh, just got more relevance pointed towards certain size. Let's start off with the um, general size title in Australia. Um, I am Vincible in fourth at the moment, important to mention. He's dominated the Australian general size title for four or five years now. Um, he's on a win streak. He's currently 4.5 million or 4.8 million behind Pride of Dubai. If he's able to pick that up, um, you'd have to think so. He won last year with, how much did he have last year in total? I think it was 30-odd 30, 30 million. And he had 32 million over Zoo Star. So he won by 8 million last year. He's currently 4 million down. But um, Pride of Dubai has had a flying start to the season. Um, but not to be underestimated at all, Pride of Dubai either. He just, he just keeps producing better and better horses, and they keep getting better as they get older. Pride of Jenny and Bella Nipotina. Bella Nipotina is his top earner this year at this stage. Um, they're the ones that escalate into the top. Um, usual suspects in second and third, Zoo Star and Written Tycoon. Hard to go past as stallion influences. Fastnet Rock with a limited runners back in fifth at the moment, thanks to the effort of Vicestina. He represents about 66% of earnings for Fastnet Rock. Schnitzel in six. Um, other stallions worth noting are Justify down in 12th. Only 64 runners so far. Um, too darn hot. <clears throat> Leading second season sire again this year. Starting to make moves. Um, will become a top 10 sire in Australia. Um, likely that he won't come back. Then we've got the likes of the Broodmare size title we'll go to next. Um, this is pretty clear cut. <clears throat> I think it's common sense to think on the back of what Fastnet Rock did last year in 2024, which I'll just pull up very quickly first. Um, it's pretty common sense to think the Fastnet Rock on the back of notching 37 million and winning his first Broodmare size title last year is probably going to win two or three or four and end. Um, that follows the trend of um, winning stallion titles, becoming good broodmare size as well, and winning broodmare size titles. We see it time and time again. Um, good cross of influences in the broodmare size title, title, importantly now too, with only one, two, three, three son, uh, four sons of Daniel in the top ten, and a son of Reduce's choice as well through the former Schnitzel. So the Danehill blood's starting to dilute a little bit more through the broodmare side of pedigrees now. Um, that was always going to take a long time to happen. So, yeah, expecting um, – that's last year's, uh, last year's list. But, yeah, for 2025, this season now, Fastnet Rock still leads the broodmare size title by 2.9 million um, over Star Witness in second um, – Snitzel, Galileo, Shamadal, a lot of the usual suspects just below. And then if we go to the three-year-old size title, um, Written Tycoon on top at the moment, thanks to the Guineas win a private life. Um, growing Empire potentially can add to Zoo Star's bundle in the Coolmore this weekend. Um, too darn hot. The big mover of the two sons of Dundeal, um, Tussle Vecchio and Super Seth. Um, now that their first crops are three-year-olds, they're really starting to train on, um, as you'd expect with the progeny of Dundeal. If we go to the second season size title, which I think is important to look at while we're looking at the three-year-old size title, um, we'll see how quickly that Castle Vecchio in second and Super Seth in third have moved up the list um, to sort who chased too darn hot back in fourth for the first season size title last year. Um, and then the likes of Alabama Express. Obviously going to be better speed juvenile size as we expected um, than 
three-year-old size. Yes, 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 it's been another big mover in the three-year-old size after having a real average first season with his two-year-olds last year. Blue Point, I've got a lot of time for down in ninth. Um, yeah, so there's no doubt that last year's first season uh, size is a lot stronger than this year's first season size. And on the back of that, I'm going to go and pull up the first season size. I think we've only had 11 of them produced runners, or 14 of them produced, run, produced runners so far. The one I'm really waiting to see is Earthlight. Um, the son of Shamadal, I think he's going to have, be a big influence. Um, Ole Kirk flying, Farnan yet to get a winner. Time to rain the sun from time for war down the Snitzel line. Um, yeah, there's a lot to un unfold and unpack in the first season size title at the moment. But, you know, looking at where we stand this season, the general size title is going to be an interesting race. Um, if I'm invincible, can pick off another title uh, that's yet to be known or if he's going to be dethroned the broodmare size title's done it's over um yeah and a lot of the usual suspects in the three-year-old size title and importantly in the second season size title for those that follow the three-year-old racing closely which there's plenty of this time of year as i said the two to make note of castle vecchio and super seth the two sons of dundeal um so that's a bit of a look through the Australian size titles as they stand leading into Melbourne Cup week. Um, a lot of chopping and changing to happen over Melbourne Cup week. We'll have a new um, probably general leader on the size title considering the prize money associated to the Melbourne Cup um, and some of the other big feature races over the course of the carnival. Um, yeah. I'll do the USA in another video in the next 24 hours or so. Um, but that's a look at the Australian size titles as they stand at the moment, thanks.